So the first thing I've done is cut out this Canton watercolor paper, 30 sheets, 11 by 15, 140 pounds. I am using all the same paper this time. That was one thing I wanted to do differently. In my last experiment, I tried all different types of paper, thickness, weight, etc different sizes and um, wanted to do this different, all the same size. So I cut it in half and then in half again. So I have five and a half by seven and a half inch sheets. Um, I, for me, it's going to be a, a workable size. I think it'll do much better. Um, so that's what I'm doing, and since I was cutting, I went ahead and just cut the whole um, pad. I don't use it for this eco dyeing paper process. I can also use it for gel prints, painted papers. I'll find a use for it. But I've had this paper for a couple years now, and I got into, um, when I started my art journey, when Michael's had papers on sale. I was buying it left and right and I have so much it's time to start using it and we're going to see what we can do with this. So my next step is going to be starting the grill, get the coals going and then um, going around and clipping leaves and flowers, um, live ones, um, dead ones, when I say dead on the flowers, some that are blooming, some that have already bloomed and started turning. I'm going to do my best to document what I put on each page, but I'm not so worried about that. Um, but we'll see. So, we'll continue on.